What? Say that again. Talk about it. I'm not a coach. <laughs> it's training that movement. So we always train as, as far as a straight lever system with our snatches, our cleans. So it's better translatable into our actual workouts. Still need to train this motion. Have you ever seen like athletes perform the leaf back extension? So when they're on the hip extension and facing down, actually working the back, they actually tuck in and then they unfold and actually good spine mobility. So basically it's the same thing. But the biggest thing with this is that when you actually hold it on, you get it nice and locked up in the chest. It's kind of acting like a belt because okay. it's pressing yeah. in, helping increase pressure. internal uh, pressure. So it actually helps support your spine as you're lifting as well. Thanks for the science lesson. Why is strongman movements, Atlas Stone, allowed to have a slightly rounded back? You know why you out of breath? Because that was heavy. Ready for a 100 mile bike ride? Next one. I should probably think about it. <laughs> just proud of <laughs> Look, they're starting to train today. Yeah. They're training today. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it's day bike? one. You got your bike? No, no, we're starting on that. I don't have my bike yet. Uh, so we're going to be on the Echo Bikes. We'll, we'll get it. Awesome. When is this? April 23rd, right? April yep. 23rd. 23rd. One whole month. There's already two going right there. My, maybe three for Mike. Uh, I can't go. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, I can't do you it. should I do it. I have a legit it. reason though. I can't do it yeah, though. I have, a, I have a legit reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have qualifiers. I'll be doing my age group qualifiers that time. So it's What's not a BS excuse. You'll be doing something <laughs> else. Look at some. I'll be you putting myself fitness. through different types of pain in, in four days. <laughs> Are you going to do it, bro? Uh, I really want to. It's my schedule. I might get bullied into it. <laughs> Depends on how much you bully me. <laughs> I'll we think didn't about make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about so it. So we have to do something else. <laughs> yeah, you there you go. It? There's a group mm -hmm. already. You are doing it yep. right there, and they're gonna stay. I can just attach my bike to your bike, or we can the attach it to. Oh, we can attach it to a truck <laughs> and just go <laughs> with it. Yes. I you like that. I like. It will still be sweating. It's gonna be hot. Electric bikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do a very summed up story. Okay. So this bike ride that my father, Alex Guerra, John, Alberto, I think there was one more, but this 100 mile bike ride, they did it. And the whole point of this bike ride is to go from Miami all the way down to Key West. You get there into Key West and it's Key West. So like you're supposed to go to the bars, party, drink, and you catch a car or a shuttle back um, to Miami. So you're done for the night. Well, <laughs> my dad's group, <laughs> freaking fitness group went down there. They were so late, they show up, no time. Okay, the last shuttle is leaving Key West because they were literally the last bikers to finish out of thousands this 100 miles. So ideally this year, we wanna make it down there in time <laughs> to actually enjoy ourselves for a couple hours and get some beers before we have to drive back. You wanna know what your dad told me? What? He said, you know, I never train for the bike ride. I rely on my crossway workouts. He actually, yeah, he did. He never trained for so, it. So that kind of, none of them did. I, I like, kind of gave me confidence. I was like, okay, then yeah. I should be fine they if I'm going to train for the home. time cap. Really? What's yeah. the time cap? I don't even remember, but you're supposed to. So the first bikers got done and had six hours in the in Key West. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I was expecting was less. With zero hours in Key West. Are you going to do it, bro? I don't want to be biking for that long. <laughs> we love functional fitness training. So basically what we're doing with this bike ride is we're going to make sure our extra training doesn't impede our normal workouts that we normally have um, at Freaking Fitness. So really because this is more of an endurance race, this is a great way for us to kind of really promote and isolate our type one muscle fibers, so our endurance fibers. And then also since us functional fitness addicts have really great type two, so our strength fibers, trying to convert a lot of those type twos to type two AB, which makes it more of an oxidative oxidative fiber allowing a little bit more of aerobic capacity um, in there as well so that's what our, our training is going to be we're always going to start off with a lot of endurance aspect more geared towards the race and then actually hitting a lot of isolation work okay so strength training work but at a higher rep count so that it is more specific um, towards those endurance fibers What are you 
at, bro? 9.75. All right. You're almost there. You're almost there. Keep grinding. I did 9.99 miles, dude. All right. So. Oh, no, no, no. It worked. Oh, there it is. I don't know what happened, but either way, guys, I finished my 10 miles. We finished it before the 30 minute mark. The goal was to keep it between 50 to 60 cadence. I mean, for Storm, he said somewhere from 58 to 62. Um, I kept it for quite a while, but after the five, after five mile mark, that's it. So I try to do as good as I can. This is day one. Now it's time to do that one mile run. Bro, I didn't know you were fit. I'm not fit. <laughs> hey, it seems to me that Storm is fit, right? I'm not fit. Are you just right? Dude, <laughs> that's literally how I was walking. My legs would not move. So much blood. Oh, let's see. At RPA, RP of seven, I was able to maintain, our goal was 58 on the cadence. Um, I was able to maintain the 58 to 62 most of the time. There were a few, like every five minutes or so, I had to back down to like 53, 52, uh, just because my arms are just absolutely toasted. Um, and my legs, what am I talking about? Uh, the run was actually 10 times harder than normal, especially getting off. I only spent 40 seconds to let my legs rest before I took off on the mile run. And it was the first 200 meters, I felt like I had bricks on my legs, literally. The next half mile, actually like the blood flow started going, I felt like I was getting into that runner's high. But then when I <laughs> turned around at the halfway mark and I was headed back, dude, everything, my calves started cramping, my quads. It's just because we're not used to being on a bike for 10 straight miles um, and then going straight into a long endurance run. So. Something that we are adding in. Different style training. Accessory work time. So, we're doing high rep isolation training. Always do this after, okay, your endurance, endurance session. So, for our training routine, we're actually gonna be always doing 20 to 25 reps, um, three to four sets of isolation work from quads, hamstrings, abductors, adductors. So, basically getting the entire um, lower body. Um, that's gonna make your muscles more primed for high endurance workouts, um, less susceptible to injury at these higher reps. And then also make sure when you are doing the higher rep counts that you're, we're not trying to max out the weight, okay? We're really looking for that burn. So that's why it's gonna go from 20 reps to 25 reps. The weight might not change so much throughout the weeks. It's gonna be the rep counts increasing throughout the weeks leading up to the event. You can try, but I won't stop, won't stop. Won't stop. Won't stop. Won't stop. You can try, but I won't stop. Won't stop. I can't be stopped now. I can't stop. I can't be stopped now. I can't stop. I can't be stopped now. I can't stop. You can try, but I won't stop. Won't stop. Lions, tigers, bears are my king of the jungle. I stand for the pride. Beat on my chest. That's the What am I doing wrong? Oh, what are you doing wrong? What shouldn't you be doing? Like when you do these, everything should be slow and controlled. So. If you realize that you're going so fast that there's weightless or less tension, okay, on your legs, um, they need to slow down the repetition so that you feel tension throughout the entire movement, throughout eccentric and concentric contraction. So being explosive doesn't work? No, we don't want to be explosive on this. We do enough of that with our regular functional training with Olympic lifting. So no, no, we want isolation to be slow, controlled, um, and high rep counts all the time. Awesome. All right, guys, that was the end of day one training. I've already done the freaking fit class, or you guys could do rip fit class, whatever you guys are normally used to as far as your workout routine. So all this extra work that we did today, uh, we're gonna put on sugar wad. So this is accessory work to do after your normal training, specific to the B2B race. You guys will be able to see all the workouts on SugarWatt. Just look under workout of the day, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you guys keep track, keep up to date. There'll always be at least two workouts posted each week leading up to the event. All right, so we made it to day two. We're gonna be working out with the Peloton here at Shane's house. Thank you for letting me borrow it. And let's see how this goes. Hey, hey. What's up? You ready to be a Peloton rider, bro? I am Officially? ready. Officially? Officially, dude. Wait until I introduce, introduce you to uh, Alex Toussaint. Who's that? Oh, you'll meet my, him, bro. My tutor? My trainer? Yeah, he's going to be your trainer today. Hey! Good morning. <laughs> you want to say hi to everyone from Freaking Fitness? You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> 100 mile bike ride? Heck yeah, bro. 100 miles. Easy? Let's do it. 
Have you no. ever done it? I'm just worried about my butt, bro. Sitting on a seat that long. Uh, are we taking breaks? We gotta train for that. And I was like, all right. He said he wouldn't do it, but he would go with us on a car and he'll hand us the beer as we're driving. <laughs> are you about? <laughs> the only problem with that is if I'm drinking the whole way down there, I'm gonna have to stop and pee a lot. That is true. But if you take like one big sip and then you give it, put it away and then you just keep riding. Well, you just get a camel pack, bro, and just fill that thing up with beer. Yo, there you go. are you ready? I got the Peloton. Well, originally, Gabby wanted it. I was not about it. I'm like, I'm gonna spend that money on a bike. I'm never gonna use it. But right at that time, I tore my pec. And I was like, all right, at least I'll have something to do for like the next like month or two. Yeah. So I gave in, we got it. Now I'm the one who rides it all the time. And when was Gabby the last time? Early on. When was the last uh, time she rode it? Last time she rode it? Uh, I think she rode it last week. Last week? She gets it like once, once a week probably. <laughs> and lately I've only been getting on it about once a week, but I'm gonna try to get on it more now that we're gonna go on a 100 mile bike ride. Dude. It's like a little kid I'm dealing with here. <laughs> don't you tie your shoes. Dude, I don't, I don't deal with rich Look, stuff, you know? This has to be this way. So this way I like use your toe flip it around. Uh, use the forward a little bit. You feel that? And then press down into it. Kind of, kind of turn a little bit too. There you go. Alright, you're going. Stop or just like turn the resistance down and slow down. Hands on the game, we are not playing the same. No, we not looking to change. Hand on the road, they think we lacking the drive. Boy, you should stay in your lane. Foot on the gas, I do not care if I crash. Long as I stick to the plan, what is the plan? I cannot lie for none of you. Long as I know who I am, I'm in control. God got his hand on my soul. And if I land and he got the remote, made it as far as a miracle, miracle. Anything less is cynical, cynical. Staying true, I can't lie in your interview. Tell the truth why you All right, Peloton ride for 45 minutes was brutal. I've. Oof. Yo, whoever does this every day, mad props. That shit hurt. But hey, thank you, Shane. If you guys want to come ride a Peloton, come to Shane's house. He does it for free every single day, 24 7 open. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking, guys. Morning. You ready? You ready? Day two. Uh, it's day three for me. Day I three? I ride a Peloton. No, it's only day two when I give you the work. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, son. Don't. That was accessory work. Don't, don't my stomach, he's mad. I didn't have my breakfast. <laughs> I have it all written down. Mm -hmm. But today's workout is going to be five, cali five miles on the Echo Bike, 160 yard sled push, of uh, 10 Atlas stone over yokes. Immediately back into four miles on the bike, 80 yard sled push, five heavier Atlas stones over yoke, three mile bike, 40 yard. Um, sprint on the sled, um, and then five Atlas stone over the yoke. Sounds terrible. It's actually kind of fun. You get some strongman, some resistance training, and then cardio all in one. Horrible. Build that lactic acid buildup so our bodies get better at flushing <laughs> during a long race. So that's what we got today. No, no, this is for. No, you no. said you wanted to do the bike train. Moral support. Moral support? <laughs> I mean, but you showed up at the same time that we're doing the 100 mile bike training. What is this, five mile? Or no, we, I don't know. You, you gotta say yes right now. No. What do you uh, know? You uh, no. did yes the other day. No, after I did the 10 miles, they said I'm not doing 100 miles. There's no way. Oh. That was on an Echo bike. No, okay. That's gonna be so much no, harder than no, like. He goes on the bike and he says he won't do it. And he rides the bike. He's like, no, I'm not doing that. Logan doesn't do any sort of competition events for the last 10 years. He doesn't do any activities. But you do. So you're gonna follow Logan? Is that what's gonna happen? I'm gonna follow Logan. I'm gonna follow. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were all about these massive challenges. Not 100 miles. I can't do it. You can't do it? Did you tell yourself you couldn't lose that much weight? No. But but it's in April. I have to do phase two in April, so this is gonna it's gonna kill me for the phase two start in April. April 4th through May 4th. And what entails this phase two? Two workouts a day. Okay. Uh what else? 
no cheap meals, no drinking, gallon of water a day. But if I do 10, 100 miles, I still gotta do one more workout. I'm pretty sure like 12 hours on a bike counts as two workouts. I think. Maybe. Maybe, maybe even four. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Your pressure. Your pressure. You, nah, but there's, you, can also pressure. Do the 20, you can do the 25 mile mark. Is there a 25 mile? 25? You're not doing 25. You're doing at least the 50. <laughs> I don't even ride bike. I just do this I don't thing. either, exactly. You'll be fine. Which reminds me, are you gonna give me yeah, that? Are you gonna give me a bike? I'm I'm not, yeah, yes. I'm trying to find you a bike right now. Dude, I, I wanna at least ride like a 25 mile. Oh no, we need to, yes, we'll be on the bike before. <laughs> just go from echo bike to road bike. I said I can imagine you just driving and not even be able to ride it, just like fall over. I'm probably, is this freaking fitness only or is it like no, just no, a no, oh, dude, it's a this is a huge fundraising event. They do it every single year. I mean hundreds if not thousands of people actually go through this. Um, we're just part of the open seas. Can't fundraise a little. I've, I've done rides from Pines to Miami, and then done Miami the, yeah, the, every Friday, every the last Friday every month they have this, Miami, this huge ride in Miami. Uh -huh. So I used to ride from Pines to Miami, do the whole ride, and then ride back. Oh shit! It's like 75 miles. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. but, but you would do it like nonstop. Yeah, nonstop. You see? Yeah, here I'm taking breaks, bro. After every 10, 12 miles, no I'm taking a break. There's no break. Yes, there is a break. There's no break. I'm taking a break. We're not doing break. Well, you guys can leave without me. Oh, I'm leaving you. 12 miles. Is storm. You're not even doing it. 12 miles. I don't know that yet. I'm trying. <laughs> It, it, 12 miles is not a lot. I don't know if I can. Uh, 12 miles is not a lot. It's not, but you take a break and then you yes. go. I think it's no, doable. 20 miles, then take a break. The goal is to finish. It's not about like how fast you get it then. The goal is to get to the other yes, side. Man. If I go, I'm going for a score. Yeah, right. You, you got to get, get there before, going, <laughs> you gotta get there before the bar closes. <laughs> I like how Storm says that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Get me to do this shit. I don't even know half of it. What are the Atlas Stones? That's the uh, strongman shit. That means yeah. that's your fucking going down here, picking it up on your thighs and up and then over the yoke. Four mile five. Okay. This is a 300. 300? Yeah. Why you look like you're struggling, bro? 300 pounds. Just don't look at the weight. Atlas Stones. I love my Atlas stones. All right, who doesn't? How does Atlas have anything to do with bike riding? I just. Can you repeat that one more time? How does Atlas stones have anything to do with bike riding? It's really just to make the workout a little bit more fun. What? <laughs> What's fun about this, bro? It's an odd object that you get to move around as a rest, an active rest time during your cardio phase of this workout. Let's get a med ball in here. That's active rest. A med ball? Yeah, fucking med ball. No. No. This is a workout, it's not active rest. All right, so, I know you guys haven't done Atlas Stones in a while. I just carried one across the fucking turf. Correct. Probably almost blew out your back. No, you did good. He did good. He, uh, he, he went like, you know, like for two minutes. No, I carried the, the 115 across the entire thing. The 142, I just carried halfway and then dropped it. Well, I, no, I, I placed it, it down. He dropped it. I placed it he down. He placed it down, he placed it down. I'll, I'll bash for him. All right, so because you guys got to lift it up and over. That'd be one, back two, three, four. Um, biggest thing with these Atlas Stones guys, you never want to be setting up and pulling it when it's in front of you. Obviously that's a bad mechanical um, lever system. So always make sure the Atlas Stone is actually underneath you. And then you're setting up in like either your squat stance or maybe slightly outside of it, okay? Using your legs, you want to get underneath as much as you can bring it to your lap, kind of get those feet in if possible, and then you want to bear hug this thing. From here on that heavy lift, you're pulling it into that chest, you're gonna be able to drive it up and over. Obviously, on heavier Atlas stones, you never want to be doing any sort of rotation. This was just for the demo, it's a little bit lighter for me. Yeah, um, always go straight that is true. into it. Demo 142, demo 142, bro. The one, I'm not ready for 142. I will go 115 because I haven't warmed up. You guys are such bad coaches. I'm not a coach. Well, you're trying to coach me right now, Eric. All right, so same thing. You gotta get close to it, keep that butt down. Get it to that lap as soon as you can. Really get it higher on that chest. You use your hips to actually help drive up and over. 
So that's the best way to actually pick up an atlas stone. When it's heavy, guys, a lot of mistakes that I see on beginners is when they actually pick it up, instead of holding it high on their chest, they're holding it more lower. So sure. they get to here, and then from here, they're trying to pick it up. Well, guess what? Look how high it is. I, now I have to reach even further to get it up over there. If I get my chest on it really higher up, now, just by standing, you can see that difference in height. All right. Do you agree with him, Mary? Do you agree with him? I, I agree. I agree. You agree? Um, I think he's a not doing the 142. Oh, but um, I agree with his mechanics. <laughs> I didn't get to. Easy work, baby. Easy. Ah, my bad, my bad. I didn't see it coming. I don't know what kind of handshakes oh, you do. Easy work. After all the he be talking, bro. You still gonna help him out? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Don't think about it. Just do it. Yep, wrap up. Wow. Ooh. No, don't worry about it. Just throw it. Great form, great back. form. Keep it up. Three more. Almost there, buddy. Oh. Go. Lower. Use your legs, not your back. Oh. There you go. There we go. Last two. Stay tight. There you go. Wrap up. Wrap up. And other. One more. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Good, Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. That's all she wrote. We're out. All right, how was it? Uh, it's a little longer than I thought. It's a little, a little harder than I thought. It was a good stimulus. I liked it. How about you? Ah, uh, storm. Dude, I almost died. <laughs> but I did take my time, so. Almost an hour, storm. We were pacing. But the real question is. Almost an hour? Almost an hour, 57 minutes. 57 minutes. 57 minutes. When we're gonna probably take 10 hours to do 100 miles. Well, I am. Do you believe in me, Storm? <laughs> yes. Yes? <laughs> I take that as a no. Are we gonna go get the equipment next week? We are. Let's so do it. we'll start actual biking next week. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was week one of training for the 100 mile bike for the open seas. If you guys haven't registered, the link is gonna be in the description. See you guys later. Three, two, one. Peace. Control. God got his hand on my soul. And if I land it, he got the remote. Made it as far as a miracle, miracle. Bike training was fun. It was fun. We should do it all over again. Yeah. Like, hit the subscribe button. Three, two, one.